crew's an eye out. set up at another free camp this is called the Thompson Brook Winery you can find this one on the wiki camps app we've been here a fair few years ago how many years ago do you think we've oh, been here about, know, three years I reckon Christmas time before we went to Mandalay it hasn't changed that much has it not really but, but there's not seen too many free camps but on the winery that's for sure no nice of them. and they've got beautiful grassed area can't believe it's free. So a bit of time for a few games. A few games, get the boy out and about. Starlink set up, brilliant. Unlimited internet, always happy. What's this thing called, Cam? Vortex. Vortex, that's right. Oh, mullet man up there, he's got it one-handed. One thing I really remembered well when we came here, these roses, the most beautifulest roses as you come in, the reddest, they've grown a fair bit. Oh, that smell, amazing. The very next day we decided to take ourselves out and explore a little bit more of the local area. Our first stop was a place called Frog's Hollow. This was located on the corner of Donnybrook, Boyot Brook and Ferguson Road. Here lied a quiet hollow and a local secret of frogs from all shapes and sizes and definitely has the ability to grow just as big as Gnomesville which is a famous spot only nine kilometers down the road.
good frog to shazza. Suits her perfect sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so we've just turned up to a roadside stop um, on our exploring today. Spaghetti squash figs. What have you found, Chris? So we're today we're gonna pick up some passion fruits, beautiful passion fruits for only four dollars. Oh yum. How many did you get? About one, two, three, four, five, about six for four dollars only. Beautiful. Cheap, cheap. What else have they got? So you got figs. So you see the big boy watermelons for only six dollars. Oh, whole watermelon. Yeah. And about that must be the spaghetti. The spaghetti squash. Only $4 right. heavy. Okay, $4 cruise. Here we go. Yep. Go. Good job. Alright, guys, we're made it to Nonesville. It's been a few years since we've been here, so let's see how many more Nones has been added to the collection. Remember last time, it took us hours to walk around. Even just in the car park alone, there's Nones everywhere. <laughs> Look at it all. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Look at the names in the house over there. You got Bubba name. What's it called? Nainsville Saloon. <laughs> cool. So we have been here for a few years now, it's probably tripled in size.
All right, so that was Nainesville, guys. What was your favourite name, Cruz? I can't really tell. There's so many good names, eh? Oh, no. Sharon, what was yours? <laughs> Probably your one. The one that you got a photo with. Ah, the was. total naked gnome. <laughs> but no, there was some pretty cool gnomes, that's for sure. So what's the way we work out? It's about two to three years since we've been here, if not longer. I think probably a bit longer. A bit longer, so yeah. A lot, lot's changed. So four years ago, roughly, we were here, and I reckon it's probably at least, what, tripled in size? Yeah, probably double plus another section. Yeah. So many gnomes to check out. Yeah, guys, Donnybrook, Gnomesville. Come you wouldn't think it started from one single gnome in a lonely gum tree. Right, that's the story. So it all started by one gnome getting put in a tree, Someone else put one there, the next one, the next one, and... Then it went viral. There you go. Now social media's got onto it. Everyone knows about it. Look at this thing in the car park. Wellington Dam Road Bridge is 50 years old and requires replacement. That's why it seems to be shut. So we've got a detour back around. Get around up.
have in this canopy is that we've got power on board with inverters, inductions, air fryers, sandwich press, coffee machines. Today we've just air fried up some honey pies for crews. We're just doing ourselves some toasted wraps in the press. Sneaky little wine. Cheers. What wine was it? My wine. Show me. Where did you get that wine from? From our friends at Thompson Brook Winery. Uh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, we did some wine tasting last night and brought about three to four bottles of their wine. Oh, it was hard to make a decision. Beautiful. Cheers. Right guys, on the way through to Wellington Dam, we've put into this place called Honeymoon Pool. What a gorgeous little spot. You can um, camp here as well, there's fees attached, but uh, not for caravans obviously, but tent sites or rooftop tents, that sort of thing. Some barbecues, there's a toilet block down there below as well. But um, yeah, look at the water. Beautiful. info guys on the camping here um, you have to book through the parks and wildlife services but it's reasonably priced 15 bucks per night nine dollars concession and three bucks per child um, but you, know, you get toilet facilities your own bay picnic tables barbecues it's a nice little spot it's beautiful Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, yeah. Such a quiet spot, but isn't it? This is just so beautiful. It's like a little mini rainforest. I can't believe the size of these trees sitting on the ground, but. No, it must have been years and years of ground, I don't know. I reckon this would get busy through here. Oh, yeah, especially on a long weekend or a school holiday. Mm. Look at this sexy thing. Still pitch myself every day driving this. Alright, what do you do you think of this camp? Awesome, loved it. You get too many of these, do you? Three no. camps and a winery, grass, 
views. There's a brilliant spot. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be coming back, that's for sure. Loved it. We'll show you later on. We went into Donnybrook, absolutely cleaned up on some sausages. They make the best sausages at the IGA. So yeah, if you're heading to Donnybrook, go to the IGA, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Thank you.